eliminate epsilon production from context free grammar s determines x y x determines a x x epsilon y determines b y y epsilon now identify the terminals and non terminals first identify non terminals and terminals so we know the terminals are a and b non terminals are s x y so non terminals s x y terminals a comma b okay now identify epsilon x tends to epsilon x determines epsilon y determines epsilon so now we have to remove one by one now remove x determines epsilon so identify x in right hand side so s tends to xy so when i substitute epsilon s determines epsilon y so this implies this s determinant y so now yes is xy slash okay then where all you have x x determines a x x okay now when you go for substituting epsilon x tends to a epsilon x a x epsilon a epsilon epsilon so i'll have my x as a x a x slash a so this can be rewritten as a x slash a so now so now my x becomes a x x slash a x slash a this one this and this okay now the production rule now becomes production rule we have only removed this we have this we have to remove this so now s is determines x y slash y then x determines a x x a x a then we have to b y y slash epsilon we have to remove this epsilon so now remove y determines epsilon identify y in rhs so s determines x y slash y okay so now when we replace x determines x epsilon slash epsilon so from this i get x determines x slash epsilon so my s now was x y slash y slash x slash epsilon okay so this is my e. we obtain x determines x y slash y slash x slash e when we go for eliminating y tends to epsilon now when we go for identifying y we have one more uh, uh, production rule where we have y determines b y y slash epsilon so now we have y tends to epsilon which is to be removed so now y tends to b epsilon y slash b y epsilon slash b epsilon epsilon so when i go for simplifying it is b y slash b therefore so my y becomes b y y i have now i have obtained b y slash b okay so now the production rule is now the production rule is s is x y slash y slash x slash epsilon so y is b not x determines a x x a x y now we have an epsilon symbol at the start we have an epsilon symbol at the start this means s generates s generates epsilon so 
no need to remove epsilon 